Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, we're going to be talking about button placement. Which side on a man's garment should your buttons be on? Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, you know what to do. Like it right down there. And if you want more information about men's style, I've got a free 47 page ebook and a premium ebook, which you can grab just right down there. Okay, the question that came in Antonio, I enjoyed reading your articles on men's suits and I found them quite informative. However, I was disappointed, such a strong word that the article did not state on which side of the jacket the buttons should be placed. This is a point of water cooler conversation in our office today. Can you help us understand this? Have a lovely day. Well, that's a good question because oftentimes we see things in clothing and we're like wondering, why don't they just reverse that? Why don't they change that? And if any of you guys follow my videos, you know I like to change little bits on my clothing. People ask me about my collars or my lapel styles, why I've got perhaps, you know, certain buttons, why, uh, you know, those little details matter. So, why are the buttons, and by the way, they're on the right side. So, any men's jacket should have the button right here on the right side. The same with your shirt and the same with uh, most pants if you look at them. So, why are buttons on the right side? Three reasons. First is history. It started off that way. So, most men are right-handed. And it used to be that you would reach over if you carried your weapon over here on the left hand, which was at that time probably a sword or some type of uh, you know weapon that you'd reach over crossbody and pull it out. So that is why the button placement is or initially start off. You know, they, it probably hasn't mattered too much throughout history. Although I'm sure there's one guy that he put his buttons on the wrong side and he went over to reach over and missed grabbing his sword, and then somebody you know somebody you know, cut, cut them in half or something. <laughs> sure, sure, it's out there. But that was initially why designers decided to go with the right side. The other one that why do we do it nowadays? Habit. It's just the way that we have always done it and we continue to do it. I like to challenge these things though sometimes because, you know, it, it really is, uh, well, why continue to do it if we don't, if the function is no longer there? But then again, you look at most clothing, it's simply we've done it this way so we'll continue to do it that way really a lack of creativity, although there's something to be said about something that works. The third reason is the rise of unisex clothing. So, it used to be very clear something was made for a man, something was made for a woman. But nowadays, you can go to into a thrift store and you can find a great trench coat. And let's say you're a smaller man, you're five foot six, so you know, you're like 125 pounds, and you put this on, it looks great. But how do you know this trench coat isn't actually made for a woman? All the tags are gone, it's kind of worn, and it feels and looks great, but how do you know this isn't made for the opposite sex? And the way you can tell is simply look at the button placement. A trench coat that's made for a woman is going to have the buttons on the left side, and it's really a mirror opposite of a trench coat made for a man. Now, is anyone going to notice? Most people will not. And you could probably get away with it, especially if it's a classic trench made by like Burberry or something like that. But it is something that people that are paying attention to those little details will notice. And so you would probably want to take that beautiful trench coat and either buy it and gift it to a woman in your life or, yeah, just pass on it because you don't want to be wearing women's clothing. And if you do, well, there are, you know, other websites for that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, guys. Hopefully, that answers the question. You guys can uh, move on to something else around the water cooler there. And uh, if you've got a question, go ahead and send it to me at, I've got this website called Men's Style Q&A. Hopefully, you've heard of it. I'm trying to send people to that site to ask questions or just go check out all my articles over at Real Men Real Style, a tailored suit, and all the other uh, websites I run, which <laughs> there aren't too many more, but I'm trying to build a few more. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.